Hey guys, this is Amit and you are watching TechDad. In this video, we are going to compare between OnePlus Nord CE 5G versus Realme X7 Pro and we will discuss which one is better in camera, performance, display, body of the devices, features, communication chips and about the prices. In the end of the video, I will tell you which one is better according to me. So watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Let the comparison start with the camera of the devices. Talking about the rear camera of the devices, Nord have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel of depth sensor. Whereas X7 Pro comes with quad camera setup, 64 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, and 2 megapixel of macro camera, and 2 megapixel of depth sensor. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have quad camera setup, and which have 2 megapixel of macro camera. And about the front camera of the devices, Nord have 16 megapixel of wide camera, whereas X7 Pro have 32 megapixel of wide camera. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have 32 megapixel of wide camera, which can take low noisy photos in low light condition. Let's talk about the camera features of the devices. Nord have LED flash, HDR, and panorama, whereas X7 Pro have LED flash, HDR, and panorama. So it's a tie. And about the video recording options in the devices, Nord can shoot 4K video max at 30fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization, whereas X7 Pro can shoot 4K video max at 60fps, Full HD video max at 120fps with gyro electronic image stabilization. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it can record 4K video max at 60fps. Moving to the performance of the devices, let's start with the operating system of the devices. Nord have Android 11 support, on the other side X7 Pro have Android 11 support. So it's a tie. And about the user interface of the devices, Nord have Oxygen OS, whereas X7 Pro comes with Realme UI. So it's a tie, because both of the user interface have different UI. So it's up to you, which UI you like it or not, it's up to you. Let's talk about the processor of the devices. Nord is powered by Snapdragon 750G 5G based on 8 nanometer processor whereas X7 Pro is bought by Dimensity 1000 plus based on 7 nanometer processor. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have faster processing speed which gives you more faster processing speed. And about the GPU of the devices, Nord is packed with Adreno 619 whereas X7 Pro is packed with Mali G77. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it can give you more FPS in games. Let's talk about the clock speed of the devices. Nord can clock at 2.2 GHz based on octa-core Creo chipset, whereas X7 Pro can clock at 2.6 GHz based on octa-core Cortex chipset. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have faster clock speed. And about the RAM variants in the devices, Nord have 3 RAM variants, 6, 8 and 12 GB, whereas X7 Pro have 2 variants, 6 and 8 GB. So the winner here is Nord because it have bigger RAM capacity. Let's talk about the internal storage of the devices. Nord have 128 and 256GB of storage, whereas X7 Pro have two options, 128 and 256GB. So it's a tie because both of the devices have same read and write speed. And about the external storage of the devices, Nord did not have any card slot, whereas X7 Pro also did not have any. So it's a tie. Moving to the display features of the devices, let's start with the display size of the devices. Nord have 6.43 inches of display, whereas X7 Pro have 6.55 inches of display. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have little bit bigger display. And about the screen to body ratio of the devices, Nord have approx 84.9%, whereas X7 Pro have 85.8%. So it's a tie because both of the devices have approx the same ratio. Let's talk about the screen resolution of the devices. Nord have Full HD plus display on the other side X7 Pro have Full HD plus display. So it's a tie. And about the display type of the devices, Nord have Fluid AMOLED display having 90Hz of refresh rate, whereas X7 Pro have Super AMOLED display having 120Hz of refresh rate. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have 120Hz of refresh rate. Moving to the body features of the devices, let's start with the thickness of the devices. Nord have 7.9mm of thickness, whereas X7 Pro have 8.5mm of thickness. So the winner here is Nord because it have slimmer body. Talking about the weight of the devices, Nord have 170 grams of weight, whereas X7 Pro have 184 grams of weight. So the winner here is Nord because it have lower body weight. And about the protective glass of the devices, Nord have Gorilla Glass 3, whereas X7 Pro have Gorilla Glass 5. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have newer generation of glass. 
which is more durable than its older generation. Let's talk about the build quality of the devices. Nord have plastic back with plastic frame whereas X7 Pro have plastic back with plastic frame. So it's a tie because both of the devices have same build quality. And about the same options in the devices, both of the devices have dual nano SIM support. So it's a tie. Moving to the some of the most important features of the devices, let's start with the fingerprint scanner of the devices. Nord have under display fingerprint scanner. On the other side, X7 Pro have under display fingerprint scanner. So it's a tie. And about the sensors in the devices, Nord have accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity and compass whereas X7 Pro have accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity and compass. So again it's a tie. Let's talk about the battery capacity of the devices. Nord have 4500 mAh of battery capacity whereas X7 Pro have 4500 mAh of battery capacity. So it's a tie because both of the devices have approximately the same battery capacity. Let's talk about the charging speed of the devices. Nord have 30 watts of fast charging whereas X7 Pro have 65 watts of fast charging. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it can charge up the device faster. Let's talk about the loudspeaker of the devices. Nord comes with normal speakers whereas X7 Pro have stereo speakers. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it can produce immersive sound. And about the headphone jack of the devices, Nord have 3.5mm of headphone jack whereas X7 Pro did not have any. So the winner here is Nord. Moving to the communication chips in the devices, starting with the WLAN of the devices. Both of the devices come with Wi-Fi, AC, dual band Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct and Hotspot. But X7 Pro have 6th generation of Wi-Fi which provides more speed and better signal range. And about this Bluetooth version of the devices. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have newer generation of Wi-Fi. And about the Bluetooth version of the devices, Nord have 5.1 generation of Bluetooth. Whereas X7 Pro have 5th generation of Bluetooth. So the winner here is Nord because it have newer generation of Bluetooth. Let's talk about the positioning chips in the devices. Nord have a GPS GLONASS Galileo BDS and Mavic. Whereas X7 Pro have dual band a GPS GLONASS Galileo BDS and QSS chip. So the winner here is X7 Pro because it have dual band a GPS. And about the USB connectivity of the devices. Nord comes with 2nd gen of Type-C connector with OTG support whereas X7 Pro have second gen of type c connector so clearly the winner here is nord because it have otg support moving to the prices of the devices in the international market starting range of nord is around 350 us dollars whereas x7 pro is available from 400 us dollars in the indian market nord have starting range from 23000 rupees whereas x7 pro is available from 30000 rupees so the conclusion of the video is in the camera the winner is x7 pro in the performance, the winner is X7 Pro. In the display, the winner is X7 Pro. In the body segment, the winner is Nord. In the features of the device, the winner is X7 Pro. In the communication chips, the winner is X7 Pro. And about the prices, the winner is X7 Pro. So the decision is totally yours. Which device you like the most so far? Let me know in the comment below. What do you think? Which device is better for you? So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like our content, please like our video, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Comment what you thought in the comment below. If you watching this video on Facebook, please like our page tag that. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram ID on the screen. This is Amit and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.